Hello, my name is Oksana Hamidi and I'm a clinical fellow in endocrinology department here at Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota. And the title of our study is Outcomes of Radiofrequency Ablation Therapy for Large Benign Thyroid Nodules, a Mayo Clinic case series. The article will appear in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. We conducted a small pilot study looking at 14 patients who had large biopsy-proven benign thyroid nodules. All of the patients were endorsing compressive symptoms, the nodules were enlarging, and the patients were poor surgical candidates or wanted to avoid surgery because of concerns about the scar. To our knowledge, this is the first study in the United States that is demonstrating the effect of radiofrequency ablation in treatment of large benign thyroid nodules. The main takeaway message of the article was that radiofrequency ablation is an effective procedure for treatment of benign large thyroid nodules. It's effective in reducing volume of the nodules by about 44%, and we observed that the effect is achieved by six months. Importantly, the patients endorsed improvement in compressive and cosmetic concerns. We also monitored thyroid function before and following the procedure, and at follow-up, we observed no disruption in thyroid function in all patients. In our study, one of the patients had subclinical hyperthyroidism due to toxic adenoma. In this patient, we targeted the toxic adenoma, and we observed that hyperthyroidism completely resolved at follow-up in about three to four months. We were able to demonstrate that radiofrequency ablation is a good alternative for treatment of large benign thyroid nodules, especially in those patients who are poor surgical candidates or who want to avoid the surgical scar. The technique is safe and effective, and none of the patients in our study experience lasting adverse effects from the procedure itself. For future research, it will be important to identify factors that are associated with response to radiofrequency ablation and also identify those patients who might benefit from duplicate or repetitive procedures. In conclusion, we found that radiofrequency ablation leads to substantial improvement in size of the nodule. It also relieves compressive symptoms and improves cosmetic concerns. Importantly, patients who undergo radiofrequency ablation preserve thyroid function. The technique is safe and effective. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www. Dot Mayo Clinic Proceedings dot org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.